We were seeing the reactions of alcohols and phenols which are taking place due to the breaking of two types of bond. One is the bond between O and H was breaking in the last reactions and today we will see the breaking of the bond of CO. Adichya cases made the OH bond was breaking that is this bond was breaking. Now today's reactions will provide you the reactions in which we are showing the bond breaking of CO bond. Here the bond breaking will take place and OH will be going up because the bond breaking is here. OH group will be replaced by some other atom or group. Such reactions we are going to see. Now you will find today's video quite simple because all the reactions that we are going to do today we have already done them either somewhere in 11th or in halogen derivative we have definitely done the reactions as well as all the notes are I think already there with you of the of today's part so let's go towards the reactions of alcohols the reaction of alcohol with HX this is hydrogen halide hydrogen halide can be of three types it can be HCl it can be HBr and it can be HI so let's see the reaction of a primary alcohol with HCl. Whenever we are using HCl, you require anhydrous ZnCl2 and mixture of the two that is HCl and ZnCl2. This is considered HCl and ZnCl2. This mixture is said to be Lucas reagent. This we have already seen. So a primary alcohol ethanol when treated with Lucas reagent, OH is replaced by Cl and you get formation of an alkyl halide called as ethyl chloride or chloroethane along with H2O. Come towards a secondary alcohol. Secondary alcohol. This alcohol is propane 2 all. Propane 2 all when treated with anhydrous zinc chloride and considered HCl. It doesn't require heat because secondary alcohols are more reactive than primary alcohols. So it forms 2 chloropropane with water. In case of tertiary alcohol, which is 2-methyl-propane-2-all when treated with only HCl at room temperature. This is more reactive. Tertiary alcohols are more reactive than primary and secondary alcohols. They don't require ZnCl2. When treated with HCl, it forms 2-chloro-2-methyl-propane and water. So in all the three reactions, you will find OH is getting replaced by CL. That is the bond between C and O is breaking. CO bond is breaking here and you are getting the formation of the product. <clears throat> In reaction with H HBr. HBr borrower reaction hotana you require NaBr and H2SO4. So on the arrow every time you will be writing NaBr and H2SO4. So primary alcohol ethanol with HBr OH will get replaced by Br. Secondary alcohol, propane 2 all, OH will get replaced by Br and tertiary alcohol, tertiary butyl alcohol or you call, call it as IUPAC name becomes 2-methyl propane 2 all when treated with HBr gives OH replaced by Br that is 2-bromo 2-methyl propane becomes the product. Again, three types of alcohol reactions we are showing with HBr. These are substitution reactions taking place. Now with HI, with HI we have got a reaction of a secondary alcohol where propane 2 all is treated with HI. It doesn't require any catalyst, only HI directly. When heated, there is substitution. OH gets replaced by I or in other words you can say that there is breaking of CO bond and here OH is going out and R is taking its place. So these are the reactions which are regarding hydrogen halide with alcohol reactions. We have already done these reactions. So hence you will find that here I have not written the names of the reactants and products. You are very much familiar with the names of reactants and products. Next reaction we have to see the alcohol reaction with phosphorus halides. Phosphorus halides are of two types PX3 and PCl5. PX3 we have got the halides of the type PCl3, PBr3 and PI3. 
these three types of phosphorus trihalides are available but for phosphorus pentahalide we have got only one type of phosphorus pentahalide that is PCl5 phosphorus pentachloride so let's go for the reaction ethyl alcohol these reactions are only for primary alcohols which are given ethyl alcohols when treated with PCl3 gives chloroethane ethyl chloride with H3PO3 Again, ethyl alcohol when treated with PBr3. PBr3 requires phosphorus plus bromine. So on the arrow you will write this because due to the action of phosphorus and bromine, we are getting formation of PBr3. And you get formation of ethyl bromide with H3PO3. And in case of PI3, ethyl alcohol when treated with PI3, you require again phosphorus and iodine because due to the action of phosphorus and iodine there will be production of phosphorus triiodide you will get formation of ethyl iodide 3 times ethyl iodide with H3 and PO3 this is H3PO3 is hypophosphorus acid now the reaction with PCl5 Ethyl alcohol when treated with phosphorus pentachloride, there is formation of C2H5Cl, POCl3, phosphorus oxychloride and HCl. So all the reactions of PX3, PX5 type, you have it in your notes of halogen derivative. And we have done that in the form of video also. Other reaction is dehydration of alcohols. Now dehydration is loss of water. Loss of water from alcohols will give you alkene. So again, as water is getting lost, the OH will be going out along with H and there is breaking of CO bond. So under this topic, we have dehydration reaction of alcohol. So let's see the alcohol. This is a primary type of alcohol that we have taken a little bit higher. Ethanol, etc. A higher alcohol is taken. This is pure butane 1 all 4 carbons 1 2 3 4 this is butane 1 all this alcohol when treated with 75 percent h2so4 at 413 kelvin there is formation of but 1 e how is the product form this is dehydration reaction the reactions are not given in the textbook you have to refer to 11 standard books so from those you will get these reactions so h2o is lost here there is loss of H and OH from the adjacent carbon atoms. The carbon that is carrying the functional group is alpha carbon. The carbon adjacent to alpha carbon is a beta carbon. So from <coughs> alpha carbon OH is going from beta carbon H is going. So it is alpha beta elimination reaction. There is formation of but 1E. HOH they go out in the form of water and there is a double bond formed between the two carbon atoms. The compound formed is but1e. It is very simple reaction. You are very much familiar. Second reaction is here of butane 2-ol. Butane 2-ol. Butane 2-ol when treated with 60% concentrated H2SO4 at 373 Kelvin. There is formation of two types of products now. One is formed as major and one is formed as minor product. Now let's see. This is alpha carbon. Alpha carbon. And here one of the carbon is a beta carbon. And other carbon is again a beta carbon. Which we will call it as beta dash. One is beta carbon. One is beta dash carbon. When OH from alpha carbon and H from beta carbon go out. Here H2O is lost. And a double bond will be formed between the first and the second carbon here. Between these two carbons. And you will get but1ene as the product. So this is one possibility. At the same time, when there is loss of OH group from the alpha carbon and H from the beta dash carbon, there is loss of H2O here. And a double bond will be formed between alpha carbon and beta dash carbon to get the product but2ene. So you will find two products formed here. 
but 1 in and but 2 in out of that but 2 in is formed as the major product. This is example of a tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol the carbon carrying OH group is bonded to three adjacent carbon atoms. So a tertiary alcohol when treated with 20% H2SO4 at 363 Kelvin there is formation of 2-methyl propene. 2-methyl propene is formed here as the product along with H2O. Now the name of the compound becomes 2-methyl propane 2-all. This is the name of the compound 2-methyl propane 2-all when treated with these reagents at this temperature condition forms 2-methyl propane. In the previous reaction here where two products are formed, the formation of major product but2-ene is explained on the basis of a rule that is called as same-set rules. Rule. What does the rule say? We are already knowing the rule. We have done it in 11th and 12th standard also. Sedzev rule says that a more substituted alkene is formed as the major product. A double bonded alkene la jitke just the substitutions are still. Suppose this is a double bonded alkene. More the substitutions present. Ek alkene jala sarva just the substitution present ahe. That is said to be the more substituted alkenes as such. This is maximum substituted alkene. एक आर कमी जाला, three substitutions आले, और उसमें एक आर कमी जाला, तो अल्कीन ला दोन substitutions आले, तो the major product will be the alkene that has more substitutions.